future. Hebrews to Revelation Hebrews through Revelation is the portion of Scripture dealing with the resumption of God's program with Israel. The Hebrew people are once again God's special preferred nation and the middle wall of partition will be back up. Believers will use all of the Bible, but these books will especially help them to navigate through the tribulation and enter the kingdom. Following Paul to follow Christ will no longer be the correct thing to do. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1 The rapture is over, and so is the chance of joining the body of Christ. The dispensation of the grace of God has ended. The law has resumed. Even at the end of the dispensation of grace many people will depart from the faith and fall away from Pauline truth. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, and doctrines of devils. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 There is more than one mystery in the Bible. The mystery of iniquity was already in operation in Paul's day. Actually it was at work since the time that iniquity was found in Lucifer slash Satan when he was in heaven with God, Ezekiel 28 verse 15. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 7. The Gentiles still on earth will have hope if they believe in Israel's Messiah and bless Israel, as mentioned in Matthew chapter 25, colon 31-40. Meanwhile, in heaven God has more wonders in store for the body of Christ believers. That in the ages to come he might shew the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2 verse 7 Kingdom Established All believing Israel are to be saved. When the fullness of the Gentiles is come in with the rapture, then shall all believing Israel be saved. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles become I in. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, there shall come out of Shaun the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Romans 11 verses 25 and 26 Comparing Israel with the body of Christ. Israel. Gospel of Kingdom. Earthly promises. Hopes and blessings. Christ is King Physical. National Salvation, Twelve Apostles. Under Law. Water Baptism. Christ's Return to Earth. Body of Christ. Gospel of the Grace of God. Heavenly Promises, Hopes and Blessings. Christ is Head Spiritual. Individual Salvation One Apostle Under Grace Spirit Baptism Christ's Meeting in the Air The Tribulation will be the last chance to believe God and enter the Kingdom. Simeon prophesied the fall and rising again of Israel. And Simeon blessed them, and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. Luke 2 verse 34 The Tribulation The Tribulation, the 70th week of Daniel, begins when Antichrist signs the seven-year covenant with Israel to allow animal sacrifices to be made in the temple at Jerusalem. Daniel's Prophecy And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, die on the cross, but not for himself, for Israel, and all mankind, and the people of the Prince, Antichrist, that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined, tribulation. And he, Antichrist, shall confirm the covenant with many, Israel, for one week, seven years, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, stop the sacrifices after three twelve years, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, set himself up as the Christ, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate, 
End of the Great Tribulation, Daniel 9 verses 26 and 27. The Tribulation, Jacob's Trouble, Jeremiah 30 verse 7, is a dreadful time with God sending strong delusion on the people so they will believe a lie, the wrong Christ rules. The lie is that Antichrist is God, and that people can be like little gods, like the first lie believed by Satan and Eve, they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, 2 Thessalonians 2 verses 10 and 11. God will send judgments with increasing severity on Israel and the world, seven seals, seven trumpets, and seven vials of plagues, to get people to turn to him. In the middle of the wrath, Michael and his angels will fight against Satan and his angels and win. Satan was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in. Tribulation Event Survival Map Rapture of the Church, Terz, 1658, Machinsta, Tribulation, Seals Trumpets, Jever, Judgments, Bulls, Revelation 16, Seven Year, Tribulation, Three and a Half Years, Three and a Half Years, Second Coming of Jesus Christ. Ramon 1121, Wani, do not accept them off the beast, 406. Them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time, Revelation 12 verses 7 to 12. God will purge out the rebels from Israel, Ezekiel 20 38, 22 21. People will not be allowed to buy or sell unless they have the mark of the beast. Anyone who takes that mark will not enter the kingdom on earth. Believers will not take that mark. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name, his number is 603 score and 6, 666. Revelation 13 verses 17 and 18. People will be evangelized by the 144,000 sealed from the 12 tribes of Israel and his two witnesses, the resurrected Moses and Elijah, Revelation 11 verse 3. Salvation will be given to those who keep the faith in the tribulation, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, Matthew 24 verse 13. Christ's second coming. Watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come, Matt 2400 hours 42. After the tribulation is the second coming of Jesus to earth. He will put down all opposition at the battle of Armageddon and elsewhere with the word of his mouth. And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. The Word of God, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Revelation 19 verses 11 and 13, 16. Many believers will be kept in a protected place during the tribulation. When they see Christ coming, they will look at him, believe and mourn. And I will pour upon the house of David, and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and of supplications, and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him, as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him, as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. Zechariah 12 verse 10 The unbelievers of Israel are removed at the harvest, the tares Matthew 13 verses 24 to 30, but those Gentiles who have shown that they believe in Jesus the Messiah by blessing Israel with food, shelter, clothing, and other needs will be saved. Jesus will separate the Gentile sheep, believers, from the Gentile goats, unbelievers, of all the nations of the world based on the Abrahamic covenant, bless and curse, Genesis 12 verses 1 to 3, and the sheep will enter into the kingdom, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. Then shall the king say unto them, The sheep, on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, 
inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungered, and he gave me meat, food, I was thirsty, and he gave me drink, I was a stranger, and he took me in. Matthew 25 verses 31 to 35. The beast, antichrist, and the false prophet will be cast alive into the lake of fire, and all their people will be slain by the word of God. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone. Revelation 19 verse 20 What will happen to Satan? Satan is cast into the bottomless pit for one thousand years. An angel, from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed for a season, Revelation 20 verses 1 to 3. The Millennial Reign of Christ The prayer, Thy Kingdom Come, Matthew 6 verse 10, will be realized when Jesus Christ sets up his kingdom and fills it with the resurrected kingdom on earth believers and the tribulation saints who stayed true to the Lord and his word. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given. Unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years, Revelation 20 verse 4. Jesus will be the king of the Jews and will establish his kingdom on this earth for a thousand years. They shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. Revelation 20 verse 6. Israel will rise, be a shining example and a channel of blessing. The Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Isa. 60 colon 3. Israel will be a kingdom of priests. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord, the ministers of our God. Isaiah 61 verse 6. The millennial reign of Christ will be a time of a peaceful, one-world monarchy. The Lord will teach the nations his word, and the kingdom of priests will help. The Gentiles will be blessed through Israel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, that the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains, and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, and he shall judge among the nations, neither shall they learn war any more. Isaiah 2 verses 2 to 4. The people of Israel will be perfectly healed so they can minister and priests, the eyes of the blind will be opened, the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped, then shall the lame man leap as an heart, dear. Isaiah 35 verses 5 and 6. In the kingdom, Christ will lift the curse, restore the earth. The time of refreshing which Peter told the men of Israel about will have come, Acts 3 verses 19 to 21, because the earth will be restored to what it was like in the beginning when Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden, Ezekiel 36 verse 35. Israelites will need the gift of tongues, languages, at this time as they teach the nations about the Lord. Yeah, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem, it shall come to pass, that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you, Zechariah 8 verses 22 and 23. The promises and covenants will be fulfilled. Israel will have the land, seed, and blessing forever. All kingdom believers will be raised up from their graves and enter the kingdom, and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 8 verse 11. David will be raised to rule with Christ. They shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them, Jeremiah 30 verse 9. 
The twelve apostles will rule with Jesus, Luke 22 verses 28 to 30. Jesus the King will reign over Israel forever, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Luke 1 verse 33. God takes back the kingdoms from Satan, Revelation 11 verse 15. Christ will rule with a rod of iron, Revelation 19 verse 15, and all the world will know him. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. Hebrews 8 verse 11. God will put his new covenant in the hearts and minds of the believers of Israel and cause them to walk in his ways. Jeremiah 31 verses 31 to 34. Ezekiel 36 verses 26 and 27. Satan loosed. After Christ's 1000 year reign, Satan will be loosed for a season to remove any rebels. A multitude of Gentiles from the four quarters of the earth will rebel and be drawn away by Satan. The devil and his Gentile forces will surround Jerusalem and battle against King Jesus and his people. God will destroy the opposition with fire from heaven. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall Go out to deceive the nations, which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together, to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city, and fire came down from God out of heaven, and devoured them, Revelation 20 verses 7 to 9, the devil is thrown into the lake of fire, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast, Antichrist, and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever. Revelation 20 verse 10. The time is up, the opportunity to believe is over, there should be time and no longer. Revelation 10 verse 6. The Great White Throne Judgment. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. Apostle Paul, Romans 2 verse 16, KJV. Jesus will judge the lost. The lost will be judged according to Paul's gospel of justification by faith, Acts 13 verses 38 and 39, Romans 2 16, 4, colon 3. All unbelievers are cast into the lake of fire. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found an no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the SEA gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 20 verses 11 to 15. New heaven and new earth. God will make a new heaven and new earth. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea, Revelation 21 verse 1. The Dispensation of the Fullness of Times God will begin the next dispensation of the fullness of times, Ephesians 1 verse 10, gathering together all true believers in heaven and earth into one. God's twofold plan and purpose. No one knew about the secret mystery until Jesus Christ revealed it to Paul. The mystery was that God would form the body of Christ believers to rule in the heavenly places. God's twofold plan is to reclaim the heaven and the earth, and to populate both places with believers who will willingly love, worship, exalt, and praise Him forever. Having made known unto us the mystery of His will, according to His good pleasure which He hath purposed in Himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times He might gather together I and one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven, and which are on earth, even in Him. Ephesians 1 verses 9 and 10. Creation will have been restored. The Father wagered everything on His Son. 
The Lord Jesus Christ succeeded in redeeming all mankind. Christ trusted the Father's plan. The cost was very great, the price was his blood, that he should taste death for every man, Hebrews 2 verse 9. He won the battle and gained the victory. God's plan all along was for Christ to be crucified and resurrected. In him is eternal life, I am the resurrection, and the life, John 11 verse 25. Satan had a plot, but God had a plan. The conclusion of God's plan, then cometh the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 24 to 28. The Kingdom of God. 1 Timothy 6 verse 15, KJV. Kingdom of, earthly, kingdom, of heaven, Israel and proselytes, of God. Prophecy Program, The Jews, Gospel of the Kingdom, Matthew 3 verses 1 to 2, Acts 2 verses 36 to 39, KJV. Heavenly, Body of, Christ, The, Church, Mystery Program, Paul's, Gospel of Grace, Row 1, colon 16, 2, colon 16, 1 COR 15, colon 1 4, F2, colon 8 9 KJV. The Lord Jesus Christ is King and Lord, Revelation 19 verse 16, of both the heaven and the earth. Which in his times he shall shew, who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings, and Lord of lords. 1 Timothy 6 verse 15. The body of Christ will be in, his heavenly kingdom, 2 Timothy 4 verse 18. God will have taken dominion as the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth, Genesis 14 verse 22. The kingdom of God has two realms the heaven and the earth. In the end, God's plan for mankind and all creation will have worked. He redeemed man, yet allowed him free will, while not compromising his own justice. God redeemed those who put their faith in what God instructed them at that time. The greatest story ever told is his story. Jesus Christ is the hero. He rescues both his bride Israel and his heaven-bound people, the body of Christ, from sin and Satan. Christ won our love and devotion with his loving sacrifice. Believers will willingly love and exalt the Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, for all eternity, as well as the Father and Holy Spirit who also made our redemption possible. We will join in the glory of the celebration of love between the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Afterward, I used to be a mixer because I had been taught that the body of Christ began in Acts 2. But once I learned that both the body of Christ and the dispensation of the grace of God both began in Acts 9, I began to understand the Bible better. Contradictions disappeared because it was a matter of understanding different dispensations. Acts 2 is just a continuation of what Christ was doing through his disciples. Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20 is a commission to preach the gospel of the kingdom, not the gospel of Christ. God began something new with Paul, the mystery kept secret since before the world began. God says different things to different people at different times. God wrote one thing for the people of Israel and he wrote another thing for us, the members of the body of Christ. His goal is to save souls and have fellowship with them. Once I understood the different message to Paul, the mystery of the formation of the body of Christ, to inhabit the heavenly places, in a new and different dispensation, I had to unlearn many wrong things which I had learned. It is not enough to be biblical, because it is equally important to be dispensational. To know what is said, who is speaking, to whom he is speaking, when, and what are the prevailing circumstances, the context. God had a secret which he revealed to Paul. The secret is no longer a secret. Paul revealed the secret to all. 
Now Satan knows that God had kept hidden the fact that Christ would be the Savior for all. Christ told Paul God's solution to man's sin problem. The Father could now give the believers in heaven and on earth his Son's spirit. Romans 3 verses 21 to 26. Satan is not happy. In Paul's epistles, Satan's demise is clearly found. Not only did the God of this world, 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4, lose the earth, but when Paul revealed the mystery, the prince of the power of the air, Ephesians 2 verse 2, realized that he had lost the heavenly places also. God won by simply keeping a secret. God allowed fallen mankind to have free will and redeemed them while he remained just. He overcame his adversary not with power or might, but with his incredible wisdom. God is all wise. Christ is the foundation of the kingdom on earth believers according to prophecy and the body of Christ believers according to the mystery. He is the king, the possessor of heaven and earth, and he will populate both places with true believers that love him. God's exact word testifies of his genius. In the Bible, he ties up all the loose ends. God is omniscient, therefore, his word is like a finely woven tapestry from beginning to end. See our stam. Rightly dividing 101. Rightly dividing 101. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Ephesians 2. Luke 1 verse 70 Romans 16 verse 25. Time past prophecy Israel. Law slash old covenant. Earth. Signs, miracles, healing Genesis up to Acts 9. Genesis 1 verse 1. 1 COR 1 colon 22 dash 23 2 COR 5 colon 7 KJV But now mystery body of Christ dispensation of grace heaven Faith in God's written word alone Romans through Philemon Ages to come prophecy Israel Law slash new covenant Earth Signs, miracles, healing Hebrews through Revelation The basic division of the Bible is prophecy, mystery, prophecy Everything hinges on the true word of God, the KJV. The basic divisions of the Bible are laid out in the order of the books of the Bible. All the Bible is truth. The key is to rightly divide truth from truth, 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. The word of God is divided into time past, Ephesians 2 verses 11 and 12, but now, Ephesians 2 verse 13, and ages to come, Ephesians 2 verse 7. God spoke to the kingdom on earth believers by prophets since the world began, Luke 1 verse 70. But God gave Paul the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, Romans 16 verse 25, for the body of Christ, the kingdom in heaven believers. From the beginning, God had a plan for both the heaven and the earth, Genesis 1 verse 1. The people of Israel walk by sight, 1 Corinthians 1 verse 22, but the members of the body of Christ walk by faith, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. We have all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, Ephesians 1 verse 3. Christ crucified and risen again is the major foundation for both groups of people. Other people have died on a cruel cross, but only the Lord Jesus Christ resurrected. Jesus is God. Salvation is 100% God and 0% man. Appendix Always remember where you are in God's plan, the dispensation of grace, F. 3, 2, and what God is doing now, forming the body of Christ. As a member of the body of Christ, it's important to know where you are in God's biblical timeline. Not for our obedience today. Genesis through John X. Time passed. God's past dealings with Israel only, under the law. You are here one. These are TOS. Romans through Philemon Hebrews through Revelation. But now, God's present dealings with the body of Christ only, under grace, not for our obedience today. The historical record of God's change in his program with mankind from law to grace, from Peter's authority to Paul's authority, from the nation of Israel to the body of Christ. Ages to come. God's future dealings with Israel only, back under the law. Are you confused? Just remember this, you gotta keep M separated. Authorized King James Version.
modern versions, RSB, NIV, NASB, ESB, NLT, NWT, Message, etc., are all based on Westcott and Hoard's Corrupt Greek New Testament, 1881. Original manuscripts, approximately 55 AD 95 AD John 16 verses 13 to 15. Luke 21 verse 33 1 John 5 verse 7. Koine Greek. The church at Antioch sent missionaries to northern Italy and translated the Italic version in 157 AD. John Wycliffe. First English NT 1380. Koine Greek. William Tyndall 1526. The church at Antioch translated the word into Syrian, the Peshitta, in 150 AD, Erasmus Greek New Testament 1516. Miles Coverdale 1535, note, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and, lo, I am with you alway, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Matthew 28 verse 20, the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. 1 Timothy 3 verse 15 John Rogers, Matthews, 1537 Coverdale's revision of Matthew's Bible, called the Great Bible, printed by Whitchurch, 1539 Initial Gnostic Corruption 2 Corinthians 2 verses 17 and 1 John 4 verses 1 to 3 Geneva Bible 1560 Translations of the Waldensian churches of Northern Italy were also consulted by the KJV translators. Bishop's Bible 1568. Further Gnostic and Arian Corruptions by Origens, Origen, Adamantius, 185-254 AD, of Alexandria, Egypt. Classical Greek. Neve 1973. Over 100 more angst translations based on the Corruptions of Origen, Eusebius, Vestrot, and Hort. The first, Christian Pontifex Maximus, Constantine, 272-337 AD, had his ecclesiastical advisor, Eusebius, 263-339 AD, make 50 copies of the Bible. Eusebius being a follower of Origen, chose his corrupt text to copy from. Nace 1963. The authorized KJV continues to stand the test of time. King James Version 1611. Codex Vaticanus, a copy of one of Eusebius' 50 corrupt manuscripts, was discovered in the Pope's library in 1481. Vaticanus was available to the KJV translators, but was rejected. In 1881 two arch heretics, Brooke Foss Westcott and Fenton John Anthony Hort, published their Greek Testament based on Vaticanus and another Alexandrian-slash-Roman manuscript, Sinaiticus. RSV 1348 American Standard Engen Revised Version 1301 Version Version 1881 Why I Use the King James Bible There are several reasons why I use the King James Bible. If you are new to the KJB, I hope that you will allow me to get you excited about putting out the extra effort it takes to get used to this Bible. Many people have urged me to use other versions of the Bible such as the NKJV, ESV, NASB, or NIV. I agree that it is possible for God to use these easy-to-read modern Bible versions to save a soul. But God wants us also to come unto the knowledge of the truth, 1 Timothy 2 verse 4. Easier and popular is not always better. I have come to understand that it is not only a matter of simply taking out the these and thous, but also that the changes in the modern Bible versions are both textual and doctrinal. I hope you will realize that I have your best interest in mind and that I am only trying to bless you. After reading my reasons for using the King James Version of the Bible, I hope that you will understand its benefits and welcome the challenge. That you will apply yourself to enjoying it. Here are some of the reasons. The King James Bible cuts me to the heart and convicts my soul like no other Bible does. Try it for yourself, take any passage of scripture and read it in various Bible translations, which one speaks to you. Although the original autographs no longer exist, God has preserved his word perfectly by exact copies of the originals. I believe that the KJB is the precise 100% accurate word of God. I believe God has kept his promise and preserved his word. 
I believe that he oversaw every step of the preservation of his word from the inspiration of holy men moved by the Holy Spirit to write it, to the collection, translation, by 47 men who had the Holy Ghost in them, to the printing and publication. The Old Testament in the 1611 King James Bible is based on the Hebrew Masoretic text, manuscripts carefully copied by hand by the Jewish scribes using strict rules to help prevent errors. And departures from the original autographs. A small part of the Bible is in Aramaic, such as portions of the Book of Daniel. In 1516 and 1522 Erasmus published his collection of the best Greek New Testament manuscripts, called the Textus Receptus, Received Text. He gathered this from the Byzantines who fled to Europe after the Turks invaded what had been the Eastern Roman Empire in 1453. The King James New Testament, Martin Luther's German New Testament, and the Textus Receptus, King James Greek New Testament, are the only Bible versions which do not contain any omitted words. Over time and after a great deal of research I have come to understand that almost all modern Bible versions are based on the corrupt Alexandrian texts, the Codex Vaticanus and the Codex Sinaiticus. These few texts have been eclectically, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, brought together into a critical text assembled, or concocted, by two unbelieving men, Westcott and Hort in 1881. Nestle Allund slash UBS, United Bible Society, also used the Westcott and Hort corrupt Greek New Testament. They included a Jesuit priest, Carlo Martini, on their Bible committee. Higher criticism, which swept over Germany and other parts of Europe after Martin Luther died, also denied the deity of Jesus. For those new to the King James Bible, it is valuable to know some of its features. The King James Bible is a word-for-word, -word, formal equivalence, rather than a thought-for-thought, -thought, dynamic equivalence, translation. Every word of God is pure. Proverbs 30 verse 5. It is well worth it to get used to the pronouns used in the King James Bible, because they are more specific than the general pronoun you. If it has a T, such as in thee, and thou it is singular. If it has a Y, as in ye, it is plural. Thus, I said unto thee, Nicodemus, ye, plural you, meaning the nation of Israel, must be born again, John 3 verse 7. The King James Bible does not capitalize the pronoun names for God. To do so can be presumptive and it is left up to the reader to interpret the one referred to in the Bible with the help of the Holy Spirit. So please realize that although I capitalize words which pertain to God the King James Bible may have these words in lower case. Be prepared that British English in the King James Bible has a slightly different spelling than American English in words such as Savior. In addition, the suffix eth indicates ongoing present tense such as worketh. The 47 King James Bible translators italicized words which they included for clarity but were not in the original manuscripts. Here is an example I am he, John 8 verse 28. This lets the reader see at a glance what is written in the original Word of God. The King James Bible, 1611, does not use quotation marks, but capital letters begin a conversation. The spelling was updated in 1769. The King James Bible uses the precise identical words and phrases for easy access to cross-references within and between the Old and New Testament. The Holy Spirit uses these exact words and phrases so we can compare them and understand more of His Word. For example, the Father of many nations is found in Genesis 17 verses 4 and 5 and Romans 4 verse 17. For more information, go to kjvtoday.com or get the excellent book Bible Perversions by Eric and Lana Newman available on Amazon. After the King James Bible was published in 1611 most people acquired this book rather than the very popular Geneva Bible because of its formal equivalence to the Word of God and beautiful poetic language.
Satan has been attacking God's word from the beginning, yeah, hath God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Genesis 3 verse 1. But God has promised to preserve his word. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, thou shalt preserve them from this generation forever. Psalms 12 verses 6 and 7. God gave his word through 40 different Jewish men over 1,600 years written in three different languages, Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic. God preserved the Bible down through the centuries through dedicated copyists who meticulously copied it by hand. Yet this collection of 66 books fit together perfectly to reveal one continuous and complete blueprint of who God is, what he has done, and will do in heaven and on earth. This perfect continuity could only occur if God told these men what to write. The fulfilled prophecies confirm that God is the author. The majority of all ancient Bible texts found over 500 agree with the KJB. An excellent DVD documentary on how we got the King James Bible, which includes church history, is a lamp in the dark. The Untold History of the Bible, a Chris Pinto production. Find it on YouTube or their website adullamfilms.com. The New International Version, NIV, is missing 16 entire verses. Try finding Acts 8 verse 37 in the NIV. Here is the list of missing verses. Some newer NIV Bibles have these verses in the footnotes, but they belong in the text. Matthew 17 verse 21, 18 verse 11, 23 14. Mark 7 verse 16, 9 verse 44, 9 verse 46, 11 verse 26, 15 28. Luke 17 verse 36, 23 verse 17, John 5 verse 4, Acts 8 verse 37, 15 verse 34, 24 verse 7, 28 colon 29, Romans 16 verse 24 and 1 John 5 verse 7, this verse is missing words. I used the New King James Version for 15 years before I understood the problems with it. A good video on the NKJV problems on YouTube is the New King James Perversion. The New King James follows the Jehovah's Witness Bible in places calling Jesus a servant instead of the Son of God. The subtle changes, omissions, and footnotes in the NKJV will not only weaken a person's faith, it takes a person away from the powerful true Word of God found only in the King James Bible. Another excellent source for more information is Gail Ripplinger's New Age Bible Versions seminar on YouTube.com. The NKJV does not use the same manuscript as the KJV. The NKJV uses the corrupt Stuttgart edition of the Old Testament Hebrew text, Ben Asher, not the Hebrew, Ben Heim, used in the King James Bible. The NKJV omits the word blood 23 times, Lord 66 times, God 51 times, Heaven 50 times, Repent 44 times, Hell 22 times, the following words are completely omitted New Testament, damnation, devils, Jehovah. The NKJV ignores the KJV Textus Receptus over 1,200 times. This information is taken from the website, Messiah Congregation Oni Messiah.net slash New Jersey KV.htm. Please notice how a very important verse for right division is changed in the New King James Version, NKJV. Compare the following. Romans 15 verse 8, KJV, Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. Romans 15 verse 8, NKJV, Now I say that Jesus Christ has become a servant to the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made to the fathers. Christ was, not as the New King James Version says, has become a minister to the circumcision, Israel, when he was on earth, as Paul explained. Here is an example of a doctrinal change in the New King James Version. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18, NKJV, For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18, KJB, For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God.
Notice how the MKJV changed the doctrine of salvation to a progressive salvation, rather than a one-time instantaneous event saying we are being saved in 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18. No one can be secure if they are being saved, instead of are saved. The MKJV is a counterfeit Bible, not the KJV. Philo, AD 25 BC 50, a Jewish man, tried to unite Greek philosophy, Plato, with the Jewish Old Testament. Origen, AD 185 to 254, did much damage to God's word by changing it in Alexandria, Egypt. The true line of Bibles came from the Antioch line. Paul says that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things. Acts 20 verse 29, 30a. Paul also writes, For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 17. See if this verse is quoted correctly in your Bible. God was manifest in the flesh. 1 Timothy 3 verse 16. Some Bibles leave out God. Satan is taking the true word of God away from Christians, and many are unaware of what is happening. There is evidence that Vaticanus, that includes the Apocrypha, was one of the 50 Greek Bibles Constantine commissioned Eusebius, the Bishop of Caesarea, an admirer of Origen, to prepare for the Bishop Constantinople in AD 331. The KJB translators primarily used the bishop's Bible correcting any errors and the Greek texts of Stephanus 1550 and Beza 1598. I believe the King James Bible is the true preserved word of God in the English language, perfectly based on the true Greek and Hebrew texts. There are really only two Bibles in the world today those based on God's preserved texts like the King James Bible and all the others based on corrupt texts. How firm a foundation he has laid for us all in his excellent word. We need to use the most accurate text in our Bible study. For all these reasons, I believe that I would be wasting your time and mine if I use any other Bible version. Satan used the Catholic Church to keep the Bible from the common people. The false Alexandrian text, the Vulgate, was kept in a dead language which few could read, Latin, shut up for the 1,000-year Dark Ages, AD 500-1500. But Martin Luther hatched the egg that Erasmus had laid by translating the Textus Receptus, which Erasmus had collected so that people could read it. God does not want his word changed in any way, not added or subtracted to. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. Revelation 22 verses 18 and 19. William Tyndall, 1494-1536, was the first to translate the Greek, TR, and Hebrew Bible into English. The King James Bible Old Testament is 76% the New Testament is about 90% the work of Tyndall, Bear, Michael Bible Doctrines for Today, Abika Book, Pensacola, Florida, 1996, page 79. Proving the superiority of the King James Bible is simple and easy. The KJV exalts the Lord Jesus Christ more than any other Bible on the planet. The true scriptures testify of Jesus Christ and exalt him. Remember, the modern Bible versions hide, obscure, the revelation of the mystery given to Paul. But the mystery is evident in the King James Bible, for those who study the Bible rightly divided. The KJB, also known as the KJV, is a masterpiece inspired and preserved by God, the Holy Spirit. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Word, John 1 verses 1 to 4, said that His words are eternal, heaven and earth shall pass away but my words shall not pass away, Matthew 24 verse 35. Proving the superiority of the King James Bible is simple and easy. The KJV exalts the Lord Jesus Christ higher than any other book or Bible version on the planet. The true scriptures will testify of Jesus Christ, not attack him. Anyone who denies this is either ignorant or an enemy of God. Now I not only use the King James Bible, but believe it is God's perfect word.
Paul's followers preserved the true word of God in Antioch. Bikuj, Tanus. APH Trolleys Landina Korea, Sidia, Pamphylia, Lycia, Asterisk Cole, Rhodes. All modern versions. Alexandria, ISA 1414, Row 1, 21-23, Memphis, Sadasa, Lake Tropes, Paphos, Carthena, Cilicia, Cyprus Salamis, Antioch, KJV Bible, Emesa, Hema, R. Heliopoli, Egyptus Tibranes, Pelium, 2 Co 2 17, 2 Co 4, colon 2, Col 1, colon 23 26, Allegorical Reading of the Scriptures. Tendency to over spiritualize using a metaphysical approach fueled by a vain desire to move beyond the physical toward man's ideas of spiritual things. Worked from 50 manuscripts that didn't agree with one another, doubted Jesus' deity and miracles. Philo and Origen mostly responsible. The origin of systematic theology. S.Y. Damascus. Versus. Arabia Patria. 1. F. Euphrates. Mesopotamia. Zot. Babylon, two schools, Alexandria, always consider the source, Antioch. Literal reading, historical, factual, stress on the grammatical and historical and literal approach, faithful to concrete realities and factual historicity grounded in God's view as it is written. Worked from the 5,000 received text manuscripts that were in agreement, believed Jesus' deity and miracles, word fulfilled by Paul, the origin of dispensationalism. The Faith of Jesus I was stunned by how many different times the King James Bible states that we are saved by the faith of Jesus, faith of Christ, His faith, the faith that is in me, and so on. I had always been told that salvation depended on our own faith. I began to investigate this observation on a deeper level. I found that very few pastors teach on the doctrine of the faith of Jesus Christ or even know about it. There are nearly a dozen verses in the King James Bible that refer to this little-known doctrine. When Jesus commissioned Paul on the road to Damascus, he said it was his faith that would save the Gentiles. Jesus said, The Gentiles, unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes, and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins, and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Acts 26 verses 17 and 18. Notice that the following verse refers to the faith of Jesus twice with the faith of the believer sandwiched in the middle, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Jesus Christ, and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified, Galatians 2 verse 16. We are justified because of the faith of Jesus and by our faith in Him and what He has done. Notice the many verses that mention the faith of Jesus. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me, and the life which I now live in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave Himself for me. Galatians 2 verse 20 but the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. Galatians 3 verse 22 According to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Ephesians 3 verses 11 and 12 We put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and we are in Him, by faith in His faith. Put no confidence in the flesh, but only in what Jesus has done. All modern Bibles omit the little word of in the phrase faith of Jesus and substitute the word in disguising the doctrine of the faith of Jesus. Why is the doctrine of the faith of Jesus absent from all modern Bibles? Because Satan hates this doctrine. 
we may not fully comprehend the magnitude of this doctrine this side of eternity. Jesus obeyed his Father, perfectly, even to the point of death on the cross. Jesus prayed to his Father often, talking with him and receiving instruction. Jesus mentioned his dependence on the Father while here on earth. The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. John 5 verse 19. And I can of mine own self do nothing. I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father. John 5 verse 30. On earth, Jesus was instructed by the word of God. He said, It is written, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Luke 4 verse 4. As the God-man, Jesus was fully God, and he was also fully man. Jesus Christ did not cease to be God, but he humbled himself and took on the form of a servant the Word, Jesus, was made flesh, human, and dwelt among us. John 1 verse 14. Jesus willingly laid aside his privileges as God, the independent use of his attributes, and became dependent on the Father. He laid aside his glory, not his deity. Who, being in the form of God, 100% God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men, 100% man, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Philippians 2 verses 6 to 8 The temptation not to go to the cross was strong. Jesus was sweating as it were great drops of blood, Luke 22 verse 44. Jesus relied on the word of God, Isaiah 53. He told his Father, Not my will, but thine, be done, Luke 22 verse 42, demonstrating his faith in the Father's plan for him to go to the cross. He trusted that the Father would accept his sacrifice for sin and raise him from the dead. Not for one second did Jesus ever lose his faith, because if he had Jesus would have had to die for his own sins and could not have died for ours. Jesus put his faith in the Father, depending on him perfectly while finishing all that needed to be done to save us. Salvation is 100% what God has done and 0% what we have done. Faith and love are in the Lord Jesus Christ. His faith never wavered because of his love for us and the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus, 1 Timothy 1 verse 14. We put our faith in the faith of Jesus by believing God's word, the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus, 2 Timothy 3 verse 15. About 2,000 years ago Jesus, the Son of God, had the faith to shed his own blood to purchase our redemption. He finished paying for all the sins of all people that ever lived so that those who believe in him will be his spiritually alive children forever. Because of the perfect faith of Jesus, we can confidently put our faith in him. The Lord Jesus Christ had perfect faith in the Father in order to accomplish his work on the cross. The Father was satisfied with his blood atonement and raised him from the dead. He shall be satisfied. Isaiah 53 verse 11. The merit is in the faith of Jesus Christ, by whom we receive righteousness. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all, and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Romans 3 verse 22. Salvation is a gift given to a sinner, who has become a child of God, by grace through faith. Christ's righteousness is imputed to us when we believe that he died for our sins. Christ paid for our sins and gave us his righteousness, and be found in him, not having our own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. Philippians 3 verse 9. We just believe. It was the faith of Jesus that accomplished the cross, and we just need to have faith in what he has done. Jesus had the faith to complete the mission the Father gave him to do. We put our faith in his faith. If the faith of Jesus is replaced with our faith in Jesus, then the emphasis is no longer on Jesus, but on the believer. The Son of God had faith that God would raise from the dead, Psalm 16 verse 10. The little word of can make a big difference.
sharing the gospel and right division. Right division produces peace of mind. The pure grace message for us in the body of Christ is found in Paul's letters. We have grace and peace in this dispensation. When we apply the sound doctrine found in Paul's letters, we are free and stable. But if we apply Christ's earthly ministry to ourselves, we have doubt, legalism, and confusion. Once you have come to the knowledge of the truth, share it with someone else. A conversation starter could be, do you ever wonder about life after death? Or, do you know that God had a secret before the foundation of the world? A real friend in Jesus will tell you Paul is your apostle and that your mind, emotions, and life will not be stable until you are studying understanding and believing. Sound Doctrine Romans through Philemon KJV About the author I used to believe that there was no God, that the only one I could count on was myself. I didn't know I was lost. Then when I was an adult, my father told me he believed there is a higher being. That opened my mind to God a sliver. In nurse midwife school, I learned that I had to take care of the whole patient. I wondered how I could help them spiritually. I asked some Christian girls who lived above me in the apartment building to teach me about the Bible. After several lessons, I understood the Bible was unlike any other book. It was the Word of God. A few weeks later, I understood that Jesus Christ died for my sins, was buried, and rose again. I was translated out of Adam into Christ that very second. From that very moment, I was complete in Christ, Colossians 2 verse 10. I thank God for saving me so soundly in 1990. Later, I came to understand that the Church of Christ was a cult, but that is another story. Fortunately, I didn't stay in that church long. Soon, I moved to San Diego and went to a non-denominational Christian church. I found out that salvation is by grace through faith, Ephesians 2 verse 8. This church had expository Bible teaching with charismatic leanings and was Acts 2, mixers. Personally, I never had any of the spiritual gifts some in that church claimed to have. In 2014, I came to understand that the King James Bible was the true Word of God. I tried to tell others in several churches this, but they rejected that truth, and me. Consequently, I made many new friendships with like-minded people. In the spring of 2015, while trying to understand when the rapture would occur, I began watching Les Feldick teach the Bible on YouTube. That is how I came to understand the importance of Paul's ministry and the difference between law and grace. I also learned that there is a distinction between what was preached to Israel and the earthly kingdom believers, law, and the body of Christ believers bound for the heavenly places, grace. I realized that the body of Christ believers in the dispensation of grace will reign with Christ in the heavenly places. This is the secret. The present dispensation of grace is a giant parenthesis bookend by two appearings of the Lord Jesus Christ in the air, one to Paul and next the rapture. The body of Christ has been forming for nearly 2,000 years and will soon be taken out. All of the Bible is for us, but not to us, nor about us. Most of the Bible is to Israel, and only Paul's 13 letters are directly to us. Our Lord Jesus Christ won the victory at Calvary. He is in the process of reclaiming both heaven and earth from Satan and populating both realms with true believers. I discovered that this belief is known as Mid-Acts 9 Dispensationalism. It is now 2017. A year ago, I found my way to a church that believes as I do. I am very content and excited. This church was also willing to send elders to teach a small Bible study in my home in San Diego. It is such a privilege to host the study. I am so blessed. Let us spur each other on to do mighty things for His Majesty. Let us do our part to reconcile others to Christ, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God, who created all things by Jesus Christ, Ephesians 3 verse 9. Asterisk note, Paul told Timothy to give attendance to reading, 1 Timothy 4 verse 13. The most important book to read daily is the King James Bible. We must cultivate a love for His Word, that we might know Him, His plan, and purpose. 
The best books to read first in the Bible are Romans to Philemon, then read the rest of the Bible. Begin with reading Romans to establish yourself in the faith, then read the other letters of Paul which complete the sound doctrine for the body of Christ. Paul begins each one of his letters with his name. At the judgment seat of Christ, we will be judged on our service done while in his body. Building on sound doctrine is important. Remember Paul said, Consider what I, Paul, say, and the Lord give the understanding in all things, 2 Timothy 2 verse 7. Other Books by Marianne Manley God's Secret A Primer with Pictures for How to Rightly Divide the Word of Truth, now available in hardcover on Amazon.com in black and white edition, also translated into Spanish El Secreto de Dios, Nepali, Hindi, and Norwegian. Rightly Dividing 2 Corinthians Study Guide Rightly Dividing 1 Corinthians Study Guide Rightly Dividing Romans Study Guide Romans, a concise commentary, also in a black and white edition. 1 Corinthians, a commentary 2 Corinthians, a commentary, Galatians, a commentary, Ephesians, a commentary, Philippians, Colossians, Philemon, commentary. The Certainty of the Pre-Tribulation Rapture, 1 and 2 Thessalonians, Paul's Pastoral Epistles, Timothy Letters, Titus, and Philemon, commentary. Treasure Hunt Volume 1, Commentary Only Romans to Galatians. Treasure Hunt Volume 2, Commentary Only on Paul's Prison Epistles, Treasure Hunt Volume 3, Commentary on Paul's Tea Books. Why was the earth without form, void, and dark, just as God said? Acts of the Apostles Commentary Part 1, 2, 3 Missed the Rapture? Read this commentary on Hebrews. How to be saved made simple. This booklet is perfect for our lost loved ones. Could God have a 7,000-year plan for mankind? Also in black and white and AD 34, the year Jesus died for all, same content as could God, in 9 by 6 size. The author may be contacted by email at mariannemanley at sbcglobal.net. Please visit her website, www.mariannemanley.com, free.pdf, files, and gods. Follow her on Facebook at facebook.com slash marianne.manley.7 Secret Facebook page at facebook.com slash godsecretaprimer with pictures. Find her on YouTube, just type in her name and find her teaching the Bible. A chapter at a time on Truth Be Told YouTube channel or on her salvation, rightly dividing, and the Rapture YouTube channel or call 858-273-2049.